This is a song that I wrote um, in April um, 2022, a couple of months ago. I wrote, wrote it after watching the film Elite, A Battle Angel. I normally like, I'm not into like cyborgs really, but she's a bit like, not your, your normal cyborg, is she? Like, she's like a teenage girl. She's cute. She is romantic, but she can take out a whole army of cyborgs that are like monsters. Um, but it's, it's the whole concept that Dr. Ido, he found like um, a heart and a, a mind. And this concept, it, it intrigues me because there is so much truth in it. Um, like, that is what we are really. We're a heart and a mind and this is how we should see people. Like, from there up. Um, like, James Cameron deals with, with the Avatar that um, when the spirit is gone, we're dead. Like, if the avatar hasn't got a spirit in it, then um, it's just a lifeless body. And it's the same thing with elite art. It's dealing with the same thing, that the body is just an avatar. We have arms and legs. They're just things that we feed ourselves and we run and walk and we can do nice things like dance and play and cycle. So... It's, it's, it's a really nice concept that that um what you what Dr. Ida really found on that scrap heap was Elita. It was like the the rest of it is just an add-on. It's just a um, an avatar, a, bo a body that enabled her to, as as Dr. Ida said, or oh, so you gave me a fast Elita said so you gave me a fast pair of legs. You know, um, that's what it's about, really. And I like these concepts. I like the whole concept that there was no sex in it, which is great for the movie franchise because it means that little children can watch it. Um, the whole relationship is basically to do with um, being a human, uh, how we feel about people, that, that um, that's what's important that we like somebody for who they are and it's about being loyal and it's about friendship and all these concepts um, that's what I put into this song the fact that she is a battle angel the fact it's a dark world I wrote this, like what I'm doing is breaking rules because I'm actually using like um, F sharp minor with F I'm actually using A minor with A. I'm breaking rules. But she's an out of this world girl. She breaks all the rules that we know. And really with the Avatar concept and this, really they're very closely linked. That we are a spirit, as, as James Cameron calls it. Awa, which is really another version of Yahweh, the Bible God, because they are actually the same person. It's dealing with Hindu teachings of Brahma, not Brahma. Brahma is the son of Brahma. So you think of Brahma as the like masculine. Brahma is like a feminine, even though he's masculine. And the Brahma is in the Hindu teachings is that he is like everywhere. He's the spirit that holds all life together, that we're all connected, which is what James Cameron is showing with Awa, that the Awa responds, that Awa is conscious, that our spirits go to Awa. And that is actually all in the Bible. They're all, they're all actually in agreement with that. Um, uh, the, 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 the James says the 
the, the body without the spirit is dead. James Cameron shows that in Avatar. That without the spirit, they're dead. And that, that, is, that is actually true. And also, the Bible shows that we need the water, we need the, the bread, and we need the spirit. Because without the water and the bread, the spirit is like a sleep. So the Egyptians, Jesus referred to our bodies. He said, this is my body, this bread. The Egyptians taught exactly the same thing. Well, Emma Tat, she, it's exactly the same. She, she it says that she, she when the, the souls of the departed died, she gave them bread and water. Basically what it's saying is the same as Jesus. The bread and water is when she put the spirit back into the womb of the mother. And the bread and water is our body. And if you read the Egyptian thing about Imhotep, that it enables them to go to the next stage to reach paradise. So when we die, our spirit goes into another body and we're like leapfrogging through time, except our memories are actually blank. Every baby that's born that opens its eyes, if they, like a leaper, if they could tell you what their eyes have seen, you know, it's like, we don't really, like humans, our minds are being blanked. And maybe it's a good thing because maybe history's been so terrible it's better that way but what the bible teaches is a time when our minds won't be blanked that and in that way when we're reborn we live forever so our spirits like james cameron is showing go to awa or yalba and so this is why i like all this concept i like the whole thing about alita that that it is to do with the cyber core, the heart, and the mind, and that's what Hugo loves, and Alita loves. She loves people. She defends what's good, and you know I love all this about it. So I wrote this song. She's like an out of this world girl. So I sort of broke rules, broke things like that. That that people, if I went to school, they'd probably kick me out for doing this, but. Anyway, have a listen.
you know, that's basically the structure of the song. Um, as I say, it's it breaks rules. It's like maybe it's like a new key, you know, but you know, it's it's like a romantic sci-fi type of key. It's like Doctor Who. They used effects. And they got sound that is endured for since the early sixties. The same sound for the Doctor Who movies because it's totally out of this world. It it, it it gets this Doctor Who thing across, but this is like a romantic thing. But it's it's also it's a more subtle type of thing. But anyway, I hope you liked it.